Hi everyone. First, I'll be going over some patient counseling points. Trulicity is a single dose, once weekly, non-insulin subcutaneous injection. It is used in patients with type 2 diabetes along with diet and exercise. Trulicity is injected under the skin of your stomach, thigh, or upper arm. Change your injection site with each injection and do not use the same site for each injection. Keep pens and needles out of reach of children and pets. We are now going to go into detail on how to use the Trulicity pens. Before you get started, you want to remove the pen from the refrigerator. Leave the base cap until you are ready to inject. Second, you want to check. Check the pen label to make sure you have the right medicine and it is not expired. Third, you want to inspect. Check the pen to make sure that it is not damaged and inspect the medicine to make sure it is not cloudy, discolored, or have any particles in it. Fourth, you want to prepare by washing your hands. Choosing your injection site. So you want to make sure you choose an injection site that's best for you. You may inject the medicine into your stomach or thigh. Another person may give you an injection in the upper arm. You want to change your injection site each week. You may use the same area of the body, but be sure to choose a different injection site that is in the area. Now we're going to focus on the injection part of the pen. So step one, you want to uncap the pen. Make sure the pen is locked. Pull the base cap straight off and throw it away into your household trash. Do not put the base cap back on. This could damage the needle and do not touch the needle as seen in the image. Step two, you want to place and unlock. Place the clear base flat and firmly against your skin at the injection site. Unlock by turning the lock ring as seen in the image. Step three, you want to press and hold. You want to press and hold the green injection button. You will hear a loud click. Continue holding the clear base firmly against your skin until you hear a second click. This happens when the needle starts to retract in about five to 10 seconds. Remove the pen from your skin. Some important information about your Trilicity pen is first, you do not want to share it with other people, even if the needle has been changed. You may give another person a serious infection or you can get a serious infection from them. Second, you want to store your pen in the refrigerator and you can store it at room temperature for up to 14 days. If a dose is missed, administer the missed dose as soon as possible if there are at least three days, so 72 hours until the next scheduled dose. The most common side effects includes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and headaches. These symptoms decrease over time. Talk to your healthcare provider if side effects bother you or do not go away. Trulicity may cause serious side effects. Stop using and call your health provider right away if you have inflammation of your pancreas known as pancreatitis. Symptoms of pancreatitis are severe pain in your stomach area that will not go away with or without vomiting. You may feel the pain from your abdomen to your back low blood sugar hypoglycemia. Your risk of getting low blood sugar is higher if you use Trulicity with another medicine that can lower blood sugar, such as sulfonylurea or insulin. Lastly, it can cause kidney problems known as kidney failure. In people who have kidney problems, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting may cause loss of fluids, also known as dehydration, which may cause kidney problems to get worse. Now we'll be going into detail about Trilicity. Here's a formal introduction to Trilicity. It belongs to the drug class called glucagon-like peptide 1, also known as GLP-1 receptor agonist. It was FDA approved on September 2014. Indication includes as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with type 2 diabetes. To reduce the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events in adults with type 2 diabetes who have established cardiovascular disease or multiple cardiovascular risk factors. Now let's take a deeper look at the pros and cons of Trulicity. Some pros is that it decreases A1C by 0.5 to 1%. It reduces the risk of cardiovascular events and it does promote weight loss. Some cons are that it requires an injection compared to other diabetes medications that come in oral formulation. It has adverse effects such as pancreatitis and a black box warning, and it's expensive compared to metformin and sulfonylureas. It's important to understand the mechanism of action for Trulicity. 
Trulicity acts like the natural human hormone GLP-1, helping the body do what it's supposed to do naturally. Trulicity works in three ways to help lower blood glucose. First, by reducing hepatic glucose production by decreasing glucagon secretion. Second, it slows gastric emptying. And third, it promotes glucose-dependent insulin release. Dosage and formulations. The dosage form that Trulicity comes in is an injectable. It comes in a 0.75 milligrams in 0.5 milliliter solution in a single dose pen. And it also comes in a 1.5 milligrams in 0.5 milliliter solution in a single dose pen. The initial dose recommendation of Trulicity is 0.75 milligrams once weekly. For dose transportation, the dose may be increased to 1.5 mg once weekly for additional glycemic control, and the maximum recommended dose is 1.5 mg once weekly. Dose adjustments. For hepatic impairment, there are no dosage adjustments provided in the manufacturer's label. Use with caution. For renal impairment, no dosage adjustment necessary. Use caution when initiating or escalating dose. Adverse effects of trulicity includes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, hypoglycemia, weight loss, and injection site reactions. Some warnings and precautions to be aware of with Trulicity is that this medication does contain a black box warning. The black box warning is that there is an increased risk of thyroid C cell tumors. Patients should be referred to an endocrinologist for further evaluation if serum calcitonin is measured and found to be elevated or thyroid nodules are noted on physical examination or neck imaging. Other warnings precaution is that it can cause pancreatitis, which can be fatal in patients with risk factors such as history of pancreatitis, gallstone, alcoholism, or increased triglycerides. It can also cause hypoglycemia, hypersensitivity, renal impairment, severe gastrointestinal disease, and you never want to share a trilicity pen between patients, even if the needle is changed. Pen sharing poses a risk of transmission of blood-borne pathogens. Monitoring parameters you should be aware of is for efficacy, A1C at least twice yearly in patients who have stable glycemic control and are meeting treatment goals, quarterly in patients not meeting treatment goals or with therapy change, and lastly, blood glucose. For safety, you want to monitor renal function, signs and symptoms of pancreatitis, signs and symptoms of gastrointestinal disease, signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia, signs and symptoms of hypersensitivity, and calcitonin levels for for medullary thyroid cancer. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Have a great day.